Hello, athletes, family, friends, and coaches. We want to welcome you to the Northeast Regional Championship hosted by the World Ninja League. This is going to be your flow course rules, and we're going to be able to go through those walkthroughs and get you demonstrations to show you everything about the course. This format will score athletes, uh, runs up to their first uh, failure of an obstacle. The winner of the flow course will then be the athlete that has made it the furthest, the fastest. Now let's begin our walkthrough for the flow course. Uh, today, we're going to start by introducing all of the obstacles that are in the course, and we're going to state whether hands and feet are allowed. Uh, we just want everyone to remember that everything that is not mentioned in our rules is assumed out of play. And um, then we're going to give you guys a description of all of the stuff that will also be in play, and we'll have a wonderful demonstration by our tester here. Um, we just want to say that all of our platforms are non-skippable due to the close proximity rule. And then additionally, please remember that uh, when you are hitting the buzzer, which we'll move back over here. Um, when you hit the buzzer, we want to make sure that you hit it nice and firm as the World Ninja League and Ninja Works, um, you know, ask of you to do so. So make sure that you engage that buzzer with a firm press. Other than that, um, once you have hit the buzzers, uh, you will have sound signifying that you have completed the course. You will also have smoke that will shoot up to uh, signify that you have gotten that full clear of the course. We want to thank you so much for watching this video. And if you have any other questions, you can ask any of our World Ninja League staff on site um, that can help you before uh, your runs. So we want to wish you guys all good luck. And we're going to get into the first obstacle. So, so if you back up over there, we're going to explain this first obstacle. All right, we have our uh, ascending steps. Your start platform is going to be this red platform that Andrew is standing on. You will then be able to utilize the red um, red tops here. That's going to bring you through to this black pad right here that is going to be your finished platform. This is going to be a hands and feet obstacle. It's okay. Uh, you know, I just want you guys to get through it and make sure that we land and finish here. I'm going to also uh, talk about the second obstacle as well to make sure uh, to show that he can go all the way through the obstacle and uh, not have to stop. So second obstacle is this is your start platform. So this is a start stop. So please do not overshoot it as if you do, it would be a fail for the second obstacle. So start platform, you'll be able to utilize the ring, slide on down, and you're going to land on this red block. This is going to be a hands-only obstacle. I'm utilizing the ring to land here. So. Andrew, can we get a demonstration, please? And clear. Well done. This red platform here is also a start-stop platform, so please do not overshoot it. If you were to land on it and go past it, you would have completed the second obstacle, but then failed the third obstacle. Now, moving on to our third obstacle is going to be the tornado pole. You will, again, this is your start platform. You will have this bar to be able to use to go around and land on this blue platform. Make sure that you know that this is the landing platform here, not the red platform, just the blue, okay? Um, this is going to be a hands and feet obstacle if needed. Demonstration, please. Perfect. Again, this is now a start and stop platform for the uh, next obstacle. So if you were to step off onto the gray, that would be considered out of play. Uh, moving on now for the fourth obstacle is going to be our warp ball run. We're gonna do two demonstrations in this video. One is going to be for the preteen uh, females and one is going to be for the preteen males. So again, start platform is this blue platform here. You will be able to utilize and run across the purple pad. You'll be able to utilize the black and white part here of the wall if needed. For females, you will have this red angle step in play. You will also be able to utilize this rope and you will land on this red uh, finished platform right here. For the male athletes, this red angle step will be removed and you will have all the same things in play. So we're going to do our first demonstration here of the preteen female uh, course. Okay. Perfect and clear. So if you can go back to the beginning, and I'm going to remove this step for us. And this will now be the preteen male uh, obstacle. And complete. Well done. 
So that was our fourth obstacle, the warp wall run. Now moving on to our fifth obstacle. This, now just to remind you, this is not a uh, start stop. So this is just the finished platform of the obstacle. If you are to touch this past the plane and move forward, you'll be completely fine. Um, as your next starting platform is the red platform that is up here. Um, so with that being said, this is our fifth obstacle. It's going to be the laches. We'll do two demonstrations on this one as well. Um, one is going to be for the female, one will be for the male. For the female version, again, I said this will be your start platform. You'll be able to jump up, utilize these bars, PVC if you want, but you don't have to, um, all the way down and land on this green platform here. If for some reason you were having trouble getting up from the platform that we have, you are able to utilize the pole here to be able to climb up and get to the bar. I think we should have it high enough, but we can uh, double check and make sure. So we're gonna do that version first and then we'll do the male after. So Andrew? And just remember that is a start stop platform. So please do not overshoot because it'll be the start platform of your next obstacle. So going back to the beginning here, the uh, one variation that is being changed for the preteen males is that on the third bar here, we will have our PVCs brought into the middle. So you will have the first two bars um, as you had before. And then you'll have the PVCs on the third and the fourth bar will then be free. Again, your start platform is that red platform that he is standing on. And your finished platform is this green uh, octagon over here. Demonstration, please. Well done. And just to remind everybody again, this is a start stop platform. So please do not overshoot it as you have cleared the first obstacle there, but you would fail the next one. All right, moving on to our next obstacle. There is going to be again, two versions here, one for female and one for male. First version will be for the females. So this is our sideways throws. You will have your start platform here. You will be able to then use uh, both the insides and the outsides of the first two sideways, and then you will have this last bar uh, in play as well to then land on this red platform here. So we'll get a demonstration of that one first. Perfect. And just make sure when you guys are completing this obstacle here that you do pass this plane as the referee will not... Uh, clear you until you have fully passed the plane. We know it's close to here. So easy way to kind of make sure that you get to here, get on the wall, and then you would make your movement to the next one. Um, we're going to now do the male version. It'll still be the first two and the last bar will be in play. But for the preteen uh, males, you will only be able to utilize the insides of the sideways. We will have the outsides of the sideway obstacles uh, marked off. So again, start platform inside of the sideways landing platform being this red uh, mat. Demonstration. Perfect. All right, moving on to our next obstacle. This is going to be the boot scoop. You will have this red platform here as your start platform. You will be able to then utilize uh, this black ring here to then swing on through and land on this red mat here. So this is going to be both for the females and the males. So we will get a demonstration, please. Perfect. And that is a clear. So just a reminder, this is a start stop platform. So please do not overshoot. Um, again, if you were to fall off, you would then complete the previous obstacle, but then fail the next obstacle. So please make sure you stay on the platform. All right, moving into our next obstacle is going to be uh, these steps that are angled steps here. You'll have the red platform as your start platform. You will be able to utilize um, the angled steps as you come through and you are landing on this blue mat again. Remember, this blue mat is going to be your finished platform. Um, you can use both hands and feet if needed on the quad steps. And this is again for both female and male athletes. Perfect and clear. So uh, I think I did say for the other weekend as well, this red platform can also be in play as a landing platform. I uh, just 
For some reason, if you were to overshoot it, this is all in play. So you can use both the red and the blue as the landing platform for that obstacle. Um, it is the start of the next obstacle as well. So if you were to somehow overshoot and jump onto the mat, it would be a clear for this obstacle, but then a fail for the next. All right. Um, there's going to be two versions here for this uh, second to last obstacle, being the TikTok to hexagon throw. Um, you will be able to utilize the uh, red starting platform here, the TikTok obstacle, and then all parts of the hexagon. So any of these little slots are in play inside, whatever you want to use to be able to grab. Um, that This is for the females. And then you will also be able to use this black ring and you will be landing on this black mat here. So this is for the females only. Uh, we'll get a demonstration and then we'll move into the male version. Perfect. All right. And for the males, Kind of hold this off to the side. So you'll go again, Andrew. <clears throat> the uh, hexagon will be moved slightly further to that bar. Um, and this ring will be pulled out of play. And then again, you have your start platform and your lane platform. So Andrew. <clears throat> All right. And that is the end of that obstacle. This landing platform is the start platform of your next obstacle again. So please make sure to not overshoot it as it would be a clear for the previous obstacle, but then a fail for the next obstacle. Um, we will also have two demonstrations here, one for female and one for male. First, the female is going to be your start platform here. You'll be able to use the black parts of the lobster claws to traverse across this bar, make your way across, and you will land on this landing platform here. After the landing of this obstacle, it is gonna be your last obstacle, and then you will make your way in any way, shape, or form to get to the buzzer to finish your course. So we'll get a female demonstration. And you go ahead, the buzzer, yep. Perfect, all right. So that is your female demonstration. And then for the males, you will have slightly different obstacles to utilize. You will have these two canes. So do you do wanna pop those up there? Perfect, all right. Same thing here. You will have this black platform as your star platform. You'll be able to utilize these two canes on the black part only, sliding through, and we'll have one change to the landing platform here. <clears throat> All right, so that red platform will be your finished platform. And then again, after you've completed uh, landing on the finish platform, you will make your way over to then hit the buzzer to finish your course. Um, Andrew? Well done. Perfect. So, um, again, on the course, uh, the pull pads are going to be all incidental. The referee will um, also go over again the beginning of your course just to make sure everyone understands um, the finer details like that. But other than that, that is your flow course for your Northeast Regional. We want to wish everyone the best of luck, and we can't wait to see you this weekend.